Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat, where we do all things Premiere and all things Windows 7. And why do I use Windows 7? Because it's freaking awesome, that's why. So with that, let's get started. This is our razor tool here. As we hover over it, you can see that the shortcut is the letter C. So I'm gonna hit C to choose the razor tool. And if it's got that little X there, it means it cannot perform any function there. You move it over a clip, that little red line goes away and you can simply click and it'll perform a cut. So I just basically sliced those two, that clip in half right there. So I'm gonna undo that. So this is a pretty simple tool, but there's a couple of little things to kind of make sure that, that you're using it right. First of all, it's kind of relevant if you have the snap tool turned on. If you have the snap tool and you want it cut to an exact frame, like right here, I'm gonna arrow to the right down the timeline here, and right where that light goes off, right there, I wanna perform a cut. So I move my mouse over, and with the snap tool turned on, I just move my mouse over here, get it close to the playhead, and it will snap to the playhead. And see these little arrows down here at the very bottom? Those there indicate that that is snapping to that exact frame and it's gonna cut it on exactly that, on that frame. So I can cut, I can use my selection tool, V. I can select this here, I can hit delete and it will delete and leave a gap. If you don't want it to leave a gap, you can select that and you can do option delete. And I'm doing, by the way, I'm doing the big delete on the top of the keyboard, not the small delete. It'll do a ripple delete. It deletes it and then it, pull, then it uh, pulls all the footage forward to fill the gap. And this is kind of, I kind of hate to say this is a useless tool because it kind of is a useless tool because there is a, because there is a shortcut for cutting through video. That is simply control K. Just think of K as in cut. So you do hold down control or command on a Mac and do K and it will cut it right where your playhead is right there. Where the razor blade does come in handy is if you have stacks of video. I'm going to stack a couple of video clips here. If you're doing some compositing and you have stacks of video and or audio, you can cut individual tracks because watch what happens if I do control K. Control K will cut through everything that has, notice it cut through these two, but it did not cut through this one up here. The reason why is because this track, the, the, the track targeting is shut off on this. So I'm gonna turn it on. Now when you do control K, it'll cut through everything that has the track toggle turned on. The track toggle basically activates functions for that track. But if you do happen to have some of these toggles turned off and you don't want them on, instead of just control K, you can do control shift K and it will ignore all the toggling and it will cut through everything anyway. Now, if I want to select those there, I can select those and delete them. I'm going to undo that though. But now if you have these uh, packed on top of each other and you, you're doing some compositing, you can choose your eraser tool, which is C. I'm going to move this over here and I can cut just an individual track because control K would cut through everything that's been activated. But say this, I just want to select here and click and cut right there. And then one other quick little thing here. Notice when I move my uh, razor blade over this clip and I cut, it cuts both video and audio. If these things are grouped together, if these things are linked, it's gonna cut right through both of, the, both of them. If you just wanna cut video or just cut audio, is hold down the option key and watch what happens. It dis that little line on the audio disappears and it's just on the video. So now it will cut just the video or if I move down here on the audio, it'll cut just the audio. And when I select this, I'm going to hit V for my arrow tool, select this, I'm going to hit V for my selection tool, and then I'm going to select this clip right here, and notice these two clips are joined together. And say you want to select one of those individually, you can hold down Option again, and just click on the audio, and I can hit Delete, and it will delete the audio and leave the video alone. Pretty simple, that's it on the Razor tool. In the next episode, I will be covering Slip and Slide.